Welcome to my video about the best foods to eat to lower high blood pressure. You are not the only one who has trouble with high blood pressure. Millions of people all over the world have high blood pressure, which can lead to serious health problems like heart disease, stroke, and kidney failure. The good news is that there are foods you can eat to help keep your blood pressure under control. In this video, We'll talk about the best foods for lowering high blood pressure and give you some tips on how to eat healthy. But before we get into the video, please consider subscribing to my channel if you have not done so. First on our list are leafy green vegetables. Leafy greens like spinach, kale, and collard greens are full of nutrients like potassium, which can help to reduce the effects of sodium on blood pressure. They are also a good source of magnesium and calcium, which can help to relax blood vessels. According to research, a diet high in leafy greens has been associated with lower blood pressure levels. So, if you want to keep your blood pressure under control, try eating more leafy greens. You can put them in smoothies, salads, or saute them with garlic and olive oil to make a tasty and healthy side dish. Next on our list are berries. Antioxidants like those found in blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries can help reduce inflammation in the body. Also, they have a lot of fiber, which can help lower blood pressure. So, if you want a healthy snack that is both sweet and good for you, try eating some berries. You can eat them by themselves, or add them to yogurt, oatmeal, or smoothies to make them healthier. Other foods that can help bring down high blood pressure in addition to leafy greens and berries, there are several other foods that can help lower blood pressure. Beets. Beets are rich in nitrates, which can help relax blood vessels and improve blood flow. You can add beets to your diet by roasting them or adding them to smoothies. Olive oil. Olive oil is a healthy fat that can help reduce inflammation in the body. It's a great alternative to unhealthy fats like butter and can be used in cooking or as a salad dressing. Garlic. Garlic has been shown to help lower blood pressure by relaxing blood vessels. It's also a delicious and healthy addition to many dishes. Fish. Omega-3 fatty acids, which are found in fish like salmon and tuna, can help lower blood pressure. Try grilling, baking, or soating fish to add it to your meals. Low-fat dairy. Yogurt and milk are low-fat dairy products that are high in calcium and can help lower blood pressure. Choose versions with less fat to cut down on unhealthy fats. It's important to remember that even though these foods can help lower blood pressure, you should also limit your intake of foods that can cause high blood pressure, such as salt, Eating too much salt can contribute to hypertension. Try to limit your intake of processed foods, which are often high in salt. Instead, try using herbs and spices to flavor your food. Processed and fried foods. Many processed and fried foods are high in fats that aren't good for you, which can lead to high blood pressure. They often have a lot of salt as well. Try not to eat too much of these foods and instead choose whole, unprocessed foods Alcohol. Drinking too much alcohol can increase blood pressure. It's important to limit your intake to no more than one drink per day for women and two drinks per day for men. Sugary drinks. Drinks with a lot of sugar, like sodas and fruit juices, can raise blood sugar levels and cause weight gain, which can lead to high blood pressure. Try to drink less of these drinks and choose water, tea without sugar, or drinks with less sugar instead. So dealing with high blood pressure can be hard, but eating these foods can be a step in the right direction. Focus on whole, unprocessed foods and cut back on salt, processed, and fried foods, as well as alcohol and sugary drinks. We hope this video taught you something and helped you on your way to better health. Before making any big changes to your diet, be sure to talk to your doctor or nurse. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.